As a Jew, we weren't told what the Christmas spirit was. My dad wouldn't even say the word Christmas because it contained the word Christ in it. For real, he literally pronounced Christmas Krachmir. called The Skeptic Tank. Please give it up for Mr. Ari Shapiro, everybody! Okay, what do you guys think people like saying better? Do you think people like saying Merry Christmas better or Happy Hanukkah? Christmas. Overwhelming Christmas, huh? You fucking anti-Semites, all right. Fair enough, yeah, I think it's Christmas too. I was in New York this year. It's my first time being in New York for Christmas. I've always been in LA for like the Christmas season, which is the best time of the year here because everyone leaves. So this place is at like 30% capacity. You can find parking spots, it's fucking wonderful. You're like, oh, this is how the city was built for this amount of people, it's great. But I was in New York, and in New York, they doll up the streets. They put like Christmas lights all over, and for the first time in my life, I got the Christmas spirit. Yeah, I'd never gotten it before. As a Jew, we weren't told what the Christmas spirit was. My dad wouldn't even say the word Christmas, because it contained the word Christ in it. For real, he literally pronounced Christmas Krachmir. <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't say it with any sort of spite. He would just like, I'm not saying that fucking word, so. What are you guys doing for your Krachmir break? <laughs> I forgot about that. And, uh, and so I never got the Christmas spirit before. And listen, you guys, Christians, you've done a lot of fucking uh, shady shit over the years. The Christmas spirit, I've got no problem at all with that. That's just nice. It's when you hold it open for somebody and go, Merry Christmas, and you let they go in, they go, Merry Christmas to you. In the first year in New York, for the first time, I got the Christmas spirit. I would hold it open for everybody all the time. <laughs> I'd be like, Merry Christmas. They'd look at me like, are you sh... Because... <laughs> be, I'm like, I'm not mocking you. And they're like, all right, I'll go in there and hold the door open. <laughs> anyway, so my first year, I got the Christmas spirit. And this year was one of those years where Hanukkah and Christmas overlapped. It was like uh, Christmas fell on like the fourth day of Hanukkah. And this was like three or four days. It was the first night of Hanukkah. I was walking down my, my block in New York, and I, uh, I passed some guy in the street, and he goes, um, hey, can I, uh, can I use your cell phone? It's like some Persian or Armenian guy or something. It's got nothing to do with the story. I don't know why. It's <laughs> straight racism. There's no reason to say that at all. <laughs> it has nothing to do with him. Anyway, uh, he goes, can I use your cell phone? And you know when a stranger asks to use your cell phone, that means that's a guy who's about to steal your cell phone. Yeah, like, sure, guy with brand new Nikes on. I'm sure I'll give this to you. But I have a flip phone, so I'm like, yeah, I'll call your bluff. <laughs> you know, what are you gonna risk jail and run away for a fucking $19 piece of equipment you don't know how to use? So I was like, here you go. And so he goes, he opened it. He's like, how do you, how do you use it? So I was like, you gotta flip it open. He goes, it opens? I'm like, yeah, man, it's great. And so he dialed, and he goes, uh, he dialed some number and he goes, hey, it's a delivery guy. I'm downstairs, I got your food. He had a bag of food on him. He was a delivery guy. And I was like, oh, cool. And then he handed me back the phone. He goes, thanks. I was like, hey, man, Merry Christmas. And he goes, Merry Christmas to you. It felt great. I felt like Martin Luther King Jr. <laughs> I don't wanna go too far, but I'm about that level. And then, uh, and then I walked away feeling great about myself. Did a good deed for the year. And, um, and then I got about three, two, three blocks away and my phone rang. And uh, it was the same number. Like I said, that guy called, it was coming back. And I was like, hello? And he goes, and the, the guy goes, uh, where are you? <laughs> and I didn't want to get involved, you know? <laughs> so I was just like, I'm, I'm right downstairs. <laughs> and he goes, where? I don't see you. And I'm like, I don't know, I'm right here, man. <laughs> And he's like, what do you look like? I'm like, I don't know. I'm like Persian or Armenian or something. <laughs> I've got a, maybe a hoodie or a jacket, I forget now. <laughs> and he goes, well, I'm downstairs. I don't see anybody like that. And I was like, all right, well, and I told him, like, listen, man, I'm, I'm not the guy. 
And he's like, what? What do you mean? I'm like, I'm not the delivery guy. <laughs> and he was like, I just talked to you. And I'm like, meet it. And you talk to someone with a Persian Armenian accent, for sure. Uh, it was not me. It was, I gave my phone to the delivery guy. He didn't have a cell phone. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with the works of Martin Luther King Jr., but um, <laughs> I'm a lot like him, and I let the guy use my cell phone. Uh, and then he called you, and the guy couldn't wrap his head around. He's like, what? wait, what? He's like, where's my food? I'm like, it's right downstairs on 12th and B. Uh, there's a guy standing out there with a bag of what I believe is your sandwich. And he goes, well, I'm on 13th and B. I'm like, oh, <laughs> well, you are one block away from your food. And he goes, what do you want me to do? I'm like, I don't care what you do, really. But if you want your food, I would say start walking to 12th and B because it's there waiting for you and the guy who has it has no cell phone, so he's not gonna be able to contact you. And he's like, he was like real indignant. He's like, well, I'm not paying for this. I'm like, yeah, as an American, I don't think you should. And he's all mad, still mad at me, like I had something to do with it. I'm not, I'm just a good person. And he goes, well, can you go tell him? I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm like three blocks away, you're one block away. You're way closer. And if you find him, you get a sandwich out of it. I don't get anything out of it if I find him. And then, uh, and he said it's ridiculous. I'm like, yeah, sure it is. And then he made a series of noises for the next 30 or 40 seconds. Just like, just the sound of white injustice. You know, it's like when they don't accept your expired coupon. You're like, what the fuck? Oh, I mean, Papa John's would take it. I don't think so, but all right. And then there was nothing else to say, you know? There was nothing else to do. So eventually I just told, I was like, okay, well. And I was like, I'm getting off the phone now. And he goes, yeah, I bet. <laughs> like, and I'm like, right, well, happy Hanukkah. <laughs> and he goes, fuck you. <laughs> and then he hung up. And that's how I know people like saying Merry Christmas better than happy Hanukkah. <laughs> 